Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to look at how to write a complex number, in this case 4 minus 4i, in polar form. So we know that we have our basic complex number in the form a plus bi. And this is represented by z. So I have z is equal to a plus bi for any complex form, or excuse me, any complex number. Now the way to put it in proper polar form is I'm going to use, I should say adapt, the conversions I have from rectangular to polar form. Remember they are x equals r cosine theta. y equals r sine theta and tangent of theta equals y over x. Now I'm going to adjust that by instead saying that since I have a and b where a is sim works like the x-axis, b works like the, the, the y-axis, I'm now going to change this to read instead of a, excuse me, instead of x and y this is now going to read as A and B. And likewise with my tangent, this is B over A as opposed to Y over X. And since our, our polar form involves both A and B, we're essentially putting in these values in place. So, in other words, z is going to be a, which is r cosine of theta, plus r sine of theta, and I have to stick in my i value. Or what is generally accepted is, as the polar form is, z is equal to r times the quantity cosine theta plus i sine of theta. So to find the, comp the polar form of a complex number, I need both theta and I need r for that particular set of complex points. Now in this case, 4 minus 4i four let me move to a new page with some more space. So 4 minus 4i, I can identify 4 is a, negative 4 is b. So simply, I can say that tangent to find out theta is b over a, so in this case, negative 4 over 4. So we say, where is tangent equal to negative 1? Since it's negative, Tangent is going to be either in quadrants 2 or quadrants 4. Now, if we were to find this out directly, we could say well, I will take inverse tangent of negative 1 to find my value theta. Recall from earlier lessons or earlier definitions of inverse tangent that inverse tangent is defined upon the x, or excuse me, the interval from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. Since that's what we would be using, we can say, first of all, that means based on that, we, have, we are restricted to between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. And since this is negative pi over 2, also known as 3 pi over 2, and this is pi over 2 up here, we're looking at quadrants 1 and quadrants 4. So the quadrant that I'm actually in is quadrant 4, because that is the overlap of the two quadrants I have. So finally I need to decide where I can, since it's a negative 1, I can figure out where is tangent equal to, let's start with 1, because I know the negative just tells me what quadrant I'm in. I can recall from my triangles, my 45, 45 right, that tangent would be 1 over 1 or 1. So that means theta that I'm looking at is 
pi over 4. In quadrant 4, that translates to 7 pi over 4. And now I have my value for theta. To find my value for r, r refers to the modulus of z. The distance from the pole, or the origin, to the uh, complex point. Which means my modulus is defined as the square root of a squared plus b squared. So, 4 squared plus negative 4 squared gives me 16 plus 16. Square root of 32, I will break down to 16 and 2. So 4 squared of 2 is my value for r. So I have my value for r. So my answer is going to be 4 square root of 2 times cosine of 7 pi over 4 plus i sine of 7 pi over 4. Now I could distribute my 4 squared of 2 and get a decimal answer for this, or a more exact answer. But if I want just polar form, I'm fine to end this right here and stop with my value. So to find any polar form, I need to identify my r using by finding the modulus of the complex number. I need to find theta, which I can use, I can adapt my equation for tangent, and I put it in the proper form.